Welcome back peeps. Today we're talking about the best way to grow herbs from cuttings. So we have some plants that we want to propagate and we want to take some cuttings. But how do we take cuttings off a plant? How do we grow them and keep them alive? Should I use rooting hormone? Should I not? Uh, what kind should I use? Things like that. There's a lot of different ways to do it and it can be really confusing. So today we're going to try and get to the bottom of it and see if we can grow some cuttings ourselves. There are a lot of options when it comes to rooting hormone products. We're going to be testing different rooting hormones at different strengths to see what the results are with these herbaceous cuttings. We got a wide variety of results, so let's get to it. So we have uh, patchouli and we have mint that we're going to use in this experiment. First thing we're going to need to do is go get some cuttings. So let's head outside and go get those cuttings. So the first cuttings we're going to take are of the mint here. We got some really beautiful mint. Look at that. And we're also going to take some cuttings of the patchouli. You can see the first plant here. You might notice these bonsai pots. I did try to bonsai these patchouli plants and it didn't go well. Stick around to the end to find out the story on that. But these are what we're going to get the cuttings off of. So let's go. So finally, here we are with our cutting. So what is the next step? We have a couple of options here. We're going to kind of do an experiment to see if one method is better than the others. We're going to do uh, two patchouli cuttings and one mint cutting. So there's a couple of different kind of uh, rooting hormones that we're going to test out and see how we like them. So, but one of those tests is going to be, we're going to try it with no hormone. We'll try it with this dry hormone. We'll try it with this wet hormone and we'll try it with this one at different strengths because that is something that this hormone does offer. So um, we'll talk about, let's talk about the rooting hormone a little bit more. Talking about rooting hormone here, you'll see they all have an ingredient in common here. And, and that's going to be, you know, the active ingredient, so to speak, that they is really kind of what makes the magic happen. So um, now you can see here, this has a much higher concentration than this one does for the uh, active ingredient. So the reason for that is you actually are meant to dilute this with water so you can create different um, strengths for hardwood, some hardwood, softwood, succulents, uh, depending on how much water you put in there. And we'll take a look at how that works. So with the, with the dry powdered rooting hormone, you basically just open it up, um, you know, get a little container and dip it in there. And that's all there is to it. With this one, however, um, it has uh, you can see that it, it comes with a, uh, a measuring cup here, a dilution cup, they call it. You know, it shows you the concentrate level, which is here. And then you go up to the, the 5, 10, 15, 20x dilution. And that's how you create the rooting solution with this rooting hormone. So that's the difference. They, these come in gels, they come in these liquid forms, they come in the dry form, um, but they all share this common ingredient. You want your cuttings to be about three inches, not much bigger than that. You can do a bigger cutting if you wanted to, um, but usually it's nice to kind of start small and kind of, uh, you know, let it grow out fully from there as opposed to trying to start starting a large cutting. Um, but you could do that, but we're going to keep it small for today and, uh, you know, just go down a, a few inches here. And so here, let me move this. So we'll now, so what we'll do here is we're going to take off all but this top set of leaves on the cutting. So, oh, I just took the top. So the <laughs> <laughs> be careful not to take the top off when you're doing this. So, uh, you know, I could still use that as a cutting. I'm going to, I got a couple extras though. So I'm just going to get rid of this one. Uh, but you just want something like that and then just toss it back in the water. Take 
take off these leaves. So I, I do like growing patchouli plants. Uh, you might be familiar with patchouli from the scented oil that's created from the leaves of the plant. Uh, but that's not what we're gonna do with it. We're just gonna grow some new plants to enjoy. Back in my hometown, there was a small nursery out in the country where you could actually get patchouli plants every year. We live in a different state now, and I just haven't been able to find that type of plant. So I actually ordered these online from Amazon of all places. So uh, here's a picture of what they look like when I got them. Uh, they grew all last summer really well and into this summer. We left for a long weekend. Uh, I left them out in full sun. We came back and they were looking crispy. They, I thought they were dead. The leaves were hanging straight down. They were yellowish brown. Uh, they looked dead. So I was ready to throw them on the compost. I did you know, I thought they were so dead that I didn't even bother taking a picture thinking they would come back. But I did take them on a full sun and gave them some water. And then next morning, uh, they had dropped about two thirds of their leaves. And, but the tips, the growing tips came right back and they were green, bright green again. And uh, that was pretty amazing. So, uh, but now they're looking really scraggly. So what I wanna do is uh, take some cuttings and grow some new plants from those cuttings and get these back down looking a little bit more full. Okay, so we got our cuttings all prepped out. We got the mint over here, the patchouli here. And we're gonna do two patchouli and one mint for each different comparison. So the next thing that we need to do is to get out the rooting hormone so we can actually try that out. Let's put our uh, no hormone cuttings in here. So I need two patchouli. So you can see I, I cut the uh, holes in this. So those are just gonna go in like that. Okay, so now we're gonna do the test with some of this powdered rooting hormone. So let's get some of that out here. Put that in a little lid here. So we'll take another couple of cuttings. Let's load this one up. So now one, two. Okay, so there we've got the rooting hormone. First we did the no hormone and then we did the dry hormone. Uh, what you were about to see was the, the 5x dilution, so the really strong hardwood cutting uh, solution. And then right after that clip, we're gonna jump into the 20X dilution for softwood and succulent cuttings. So let's jump into that. Let's get these in here. It says between three and five seconds. You know, this stuff does also say you should wear gloves. So you should always wear gloves. So you should always wear gloves. One. Five. So this is the dry hormone, no hormone, high hormone, and low hormone are what these stand for. Okay, it is finally time to check out these results. So I was actually really interested to see that the no hormone cuttings did actually produce very few roots, while the extra high hormone on the far right with the green arrow pointing up, those are hardwood cutting level hormones. Those produce really thick roots, while the lowest hormone, the 5X dilution, produced really fine fibrous roots, like a big clump of them right there with the red arrow pointing down. So I was really interested to see that. You can see here that the low hormone is actually consuming a lot more water by the end of the growth when it's produced all those fine fibrous roots. Now, actually one of the big surprises for me was the dry hormone. The dry hormone, I think, did the second best out of all of these. So I was really interested to see that. 
Now with the high hormone that produced the very thick roots, uh, but fewer roots and not really feeder roots, that, um, now the high hormone cuttings, if those were planted in a traditional media like potting soil or perlite or something like that, those probably would have burned. But since I put them directly in water, it kind of diluted it even further. So I think that's the reason that the high hormone level on that one didn't burn those cuttings. So my takeaway on this is that the dry hormone with a lower concentration of hormone is a great solution if you're just going to be doing uh, a low amount of cuttings, say like, you know, five or ten cuttings or something like that. Um, because with the, the, the wet hormone, you actually kind of have the waste afterwards. Well, is with the dry hormone, you just use what you need and uh, you can save the rest for later. So I really like that about the dry hormone. Yeah, as far as the dry hormone goes, I, I think I, I'd go with that. And that was kind of the surprise result uh, of the takeaway from this experiment for me. Here's a clip of the cuttings all potted up. I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I tried to bonsai uh, the main, the mother patchouli plants from these. So I went straight in with a hard root prune and I cut the branches back really far. I think it was just a bit too much at once and they died almost instantly after that. I did try to keep them alive, I gave them a chance, but there was uh, no bringing them back. So next time maybe I would prune the branches back hard and then let it recover a bit before going in after the roots. So. Uh, we'll see, but uh, so it didn't work out this time, but I got more patchouli plants on the way to try and turn into bonsai trees, so eventually we're gonna get it. Thanks for watching today. Click that like button and the subscribe button to see more videos about plants, gardening, bonsai, orchids, and the like, and I will see you next time.